Let's have, uh, have something, some, some way to answer here. And Austin starting it off strong with the double kill. Snox is storming his way into the side as well. And an ultra kill coming out of Awesome. Keep himself quiet. Yeah, it's really difficult to sneak into this position. Look at the timing of this, too. Oh, yep. And Evie's going to be swinging around the right-hand side. I don't know if he's going to be prepared for this one. Awesome gets in behind. Manages the Motown. Four people. Now he's looking for the ace. Can he get it? No, oh, back there. Oh. We'll put an end to it. But, man, what a lurk. What a spray. Rounds, which is beautiful, uh, but we're seeing a pinch coming in here from uh, GR Spawn. And oh, yo, Creed's making short work of it. What a nasty turnaround from him! Make that another three piece for Creed's. Can he make it the second point of the of the half for him? Yes, he can. Fourteen to four, Creed's really locking down this mid. Uh, just all they need is Creed's there. Forget about stacking. Yeah, well, the Lazarus, they're just so stacked with attention towards mid that they've only got 40 underneath to even give them the information. Jin, he's already taken down, trying to peek to support 40. And look at that, Creed's just tearing them apart. And GV, this should be their map to win at this point. It's a five on two. Lazarus not gonna have anything to hold their feet to the fire with him. It's just gonna be crumbling defenses once again for them. shot from terror when it comes to these rounds between these two teams and perfect positioning from phase what do you expect from this guy he crouches at the perfect position as well by the way where they can't see him through the crack so it's just another smart play by phase hey, out guard getting the first pick on the stocks awesome he does get one in return but who's going to expect this many players underneath catwalk and all over the, the gr side of the map here toward a it's looking like it's working out well for 3bl until phase has that answer with the double kill it's all of a sudden down to a much easier, a much easier winnable round for the GP because the people to lose on winning two. So Faze takes the round a, a, a 3k from him. You are about to run into Seven gonna try and lock this one down. He's gotta step up and hold on to the bomb site. Grabs two, looking for more. Gets the triple kill, and he's still alive here. Looking really good as he grabs the fourth here. Beautiful round from GV. Shrimities just creates an opportunity for the BL for Alpha to come out ahead. Now they may not clear this corner. Doesn't look like you're going to. He go. Oh, what a triple kill coming out from seven. These two players here comes the push though. Snock spots them both. He's gonna go down a little bit too quickly. Now left on seven here, but he has a nade that could go right onto the bomb here. It's a nice stall from him, but there's already a diffuser on it. Q, I'm going to be sticking it, but he actually gets off. This is huge for seven if he can just play the clock here. Eight seconds on it, Q, he has to go for it. Seven, he does it. He's gonna win the map for his team again, coming up in the clutch. Seven. One. Snox finds another underneath on the A ramp. It's going to be Totson and Horace still hanging on to it though as they take down Green Snox though. He finds a third. He finds the fourth Snox in the 2v4. Gets all four kills. And GV have him to thank for making this a much closer game than it really should have been. Snox, if you're hearing me now, just keep using the AK, man. You're just insane with this gun. He's so good. Uh, Dark Force X Factor of this round is going to be Creed's, but here comes the retake. Travis st stomping his way in. Stocks able to get a double piece in return. Things are looking good. Another quad kill coming out of the, the side of GV as Stocks picks up an ultra kill of his own. But still Penguin, he's working on the defuse here. It's not going to be enough. Creed's manages to, to finish him off, but another four piece in overtime from GV. These guys, two mini star players. They can all pop off at any moment. Yeah, it's so scary now for 3BL. They've got to win two just to take it to a golden round. But right now, GV seem like the team that could pull it off here, especially with Snox hitting these kind of shots. It's very dangerous for the side of GV, and it looks like they're going to take fully control of that water. 
Snox's face. He wants to say something about it, but he's not really able to do much here. And so Snox, it's all left up to him. And he's he's honestly playing this perfectly around ring around the Rosies here, not able to take out Slayer somehow uh, off the first peak, but he does take him off with the second. Snox playing that really, really well positionally.